All right, so today I'm gonna to be making my purple power juice, which is a delicious drink full of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. So stick around for that. But first I wanna talk more about juicing. Now, after my first episode, I got a lot of positive comments about the juicing videos and how informative they were, which I appreciate. But I did get a few people who wrote me and said, hey, juicing's not good. What about the fiber? You're removing the fiber. And a lot of people tend to have this opinion that juicing is an issue because it doesn't have the fiber. Why not just eat the foods? Well, the way I see it, there are two types of people who do juicing. Those who eat uh, an assortment and an abundance of fruit and vegetables like myself, and then people who really don't eat a lot of fruit and vegetables like lots of people. And I don't see fiber being an issue for either group. Here's why. If you're already eating a healthy diet, as am I, and you eat a salad every day or you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and beans, you're getting more than enough fiber, probably four or five times the amount of fiber that's recommended. And if you're getting that kind of fiber, having a glass or two of juice a day is not gonna deplete you of fiber because you're getting fiber from all the other foods that you're eating. But you're still getting those nutrients, those minerals, those antioxidants, and you're getting it in a drinkable form that is readily absorbable. Everything is positive about juicing if you're already eating a healthy diet. And for those who are not eating many fruits and vegetables, well, think about what they're doing. If you're not missing, uh, eating many fruits and vegetables, then you're missing out on all those vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that aren't provided in other foods. So a person who's eating a diet devoid of those fruits and vegetables and antioxidants, minerals, but when you start juicing, now you're adding those things in and you're adding them in a readily absorbable form where you can start absorbing those nutrients. Now the key, the key to juicing healthy, in my opinion, responsible juicing means that you're not just putting a lot of high sugar fruits into your juicer and mix them all going, man, this tastes good, and you're drinking a lot of sugar. You wanna take a sensible approach. You need to know what things are high in sugar, what things are low in sugar. Most of my juices you'll see include low sugar fruits, low sugar vegetables, like berries, like cucumbers, like celery. Those are the things that make good juices. And then I add other things uh, depending on what particular nutrients I wanna gain from that juice. And as always, I wanna mention, I'm not a doctor or dietitian. I'm just giving you the information based on the studies I've read and the information I've been privy to. What I do is take a sensible approach to juicing and making sure that I'm juicing healthy vegetables and fruit and keeping the sugar content of my juices down while adding all the things that gives me lots of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. All right, with that said, let's make this delicious purple power drink. And this truly is a delicious drink. And as you can see, I'm using the kind of fruits and vegetables that I spoke about. Low sugar vegetables and fruits make the healthiest drinks. I'm using some red cabbage and I'm putting in a cucumber, which is very common in my juices because they're low sugar and add lots and lots of liquid. I'm also using a Granny Smith apple, which is the lowest sugar apple that there is. This all comes together to make a delicious, healthy vegan purple power drink. All right, I can't wait to enjoy this juice. And remember, sensible juicing is healthy juicing. You'll love it.